This is the story of Dozer. A lot of you don't know this, but I grew up on a dirt road way out in the sticks, chasing big bucks my entire life. In fact, I come from a long line of hunters, and specifically bow hunters. On the Bomar side, my grandpa was known for killing giant bucks back in the 80s. I'm talking mega stars, and he did it all with a bow and arrow. And in fact, my grandma was the first woman in the Ohio Big Buck Club, and she held the record for many years. I think it was like two decades of the largest buck ever killed in the state by a female. We're talking a history of diehard hunters and specifically big buck hunters. But on my mom's side of the family, they were all diehard hunters too, and even bow hunters. I mean, my grandma on that side of the family was a state champion archer, and my grandpa has definitely killed some big bucks in his day. So it's safe to say with a heritage like that, that chasing big bucks was in my blood. When I got Dozer on camera in 2020, that's when he got his name because he was already so incredibly massive and huge bodied. I knew this deer was going to be something special. But this deer wasn't easy for me to pass. You know, I had a really rough season in 2020 and this was the biggest buck that I had on camera and I really wanted the hunting. But I knew I had to bet on the deer and pass him because he had potential to be a giant. But honestly, it was hard to tell because he had such a huge body, it really dwarfed his antlers. And so I didn't really know just how big he was or how old he was. It was really, really hard to judge this buck. But we stuck to our guns and we passed Dozer in 2020. And thank God we did. Because when we found his shed, everything got put into perspective with just how special this deer really was. He had so much more mass and so much more time length than we thought. He was a true giant, and right then and there, I thought he might be 200 inches in 2021. So excited for this right here. Check this out. This was the buck we were hoping to find on the farm today. This is why we came. Check this out. Holy smokes. You talk about a ton of mass. This deer has it all, honestly. He's got a bunch of little tines. Even his tines, honestly, are bigger than they look. Like, this is almost 11 inches. My hand's seven. I mean, you're talking almost 11, 12 inch tine. This deer, I honestly believe, could be a 200 inch deer, you know, at the age of maybe five or six, because I know he's only four. And so his other side- So needless to say, I was beyond Jack to get cameras out in the summer to see if Dozer made it. And to my surprise, not only did he get bigger, but he threw all kinds of trash on his bases. I mean, there were points coming out of everywhere, coming out the back, coming out the front, double brows. I mean, he blew up into a giant that was definitely over 200 inches. We just had one problem. Once he shed his velvet, we never got a single daylight picture of him in front of the cameras. Not over the scrapes, not in the food plots, nothing. Of course I wanted to hunt this deer. Of course I wanted to go on the farm. But sometimes you have to hunt smarter than harder. And my patience and strategy was about to pay off. Because after a long string of hot weather, we had a massive cold front coming. Barometric pressure shooting through the roof, cold north winds coming down. I mean, everything you hope for, for big buck movement. And that day was gonna be on October 21st. Oh, guys, I am so excited to be in the woods right now. It is October 21st and we have a huge cold front coming in and I'm after a buck called Dozer. Now, Dozer is a beast and I'm gonna talk more about him in the blind, but we gotta get in. We're gonna hike through this CRP. Check this out. It's freaking seven, eight feet tall. Pretty awesome. We're gonna get all the way in the long hike in, but uh, we're gonna get set up and kind of crazy. I am self-filming today, so stay with me, guys. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna hopefully get after a giant. You know, anytime you could be in the woods is a good time. So let's hike in and let's get set up in the blind. some duct tape in here and black it this out you know with this blind being so big and the window so big it's great for filming but it lets a lot of light in so we got to make sure to 
keep everything nice and dark back here. So this is exciting. It's not even 3.30 and we already have some does coming out into the field. So we got in here just in enough time. Didn't blow any deer out. And uh, gosh, it feels good to be sitting in the woods right now. I mean, it is a special place. This is a food plot. You know, we worked the dirt and put in here, gosh, a couple years ago. Um, and uh, man, just so grateful it came up and we got enough rain for, for to really green up and it's still green. It was struggling and we got a lot of late rains that really uh, revived this food plot. And so, you know, with this cold front, typically the deer go to grain, you know, but I'm hoping that he'll still come in here and maybe get a bite of some radishes. So there's a, we're not far from his favorite scrape. I would have sat over the favorite scrape, but Honestly, it's one of those things. I just know a lot of does are gonna be out here. It's really, really cold and maybe he's gonna come and want to eat up a little bit. So just one of those decisions. You hope you make the right call. And that's kind of where we're sitting right now. We're hoping that I made the right call. Well, one of those does got downwind to me and blew. I was trying to stay still so I didn't get it on camera. But it's been... I, I see something. I can, I can see this branch moving. I think there's a deer rubbing it or something. But that's right in between the ribs, guys. I just killed Dozer! <laughs> He's a giant. We gotta let him go. It wasn't a great shot, but I'm using a monster two and a half inch cutting broadhead. I mean, this sucker's big. It cuts big holes in him. I'm freaking out. I was gonna stop him, but he seemed a little nervous. I can't believe it, guys. It is so early. I'm freaking out. Five o'clock. Yeah. Sarah's gonna lose her mind. That's the first time that this buck has been in this food plot in daylight. Unbelievable. Okay, what did you say? 
Sarah, I just shot Dozer. I think you're lying. I want to say I'm lying because I told you all those does blew out. And I was like, well, my hunt's over. And I look over and I see this bush moving. And it's him. He's rubbing it. He worked right in front of me, 25 yards. And then he stopped. So I didn't stop him. So I was just running my shot. And he freaking started walking on me. Oh, but I, I got him. He's definitely going to die. That's awesome. I can't believe it. Well, we, we have um, four does and two nubbins in here right now, so... Okay, cool. Good luck, good luck. Okay, sounds good. Good luck. Bye. Okay, thanks. Ah, freaking out, guys! Alright, we're gonna go and see if we can't find my arrow. It's pretty crazy, actually. I got a trail camp pick of this buck last year. Right here. Under this scrape. And I put in again this year. So I put a scrape in right here. I still have the camera. You guys are gonna really appreciate this. Check this out. Right here is a picture I got of him with that in the background. And to think I shot him right here, it's pretty special. Look how much blood there is right here. I mean, this is at the impact site. There's tons of it. I may have caught the liver. Here's my arrow. Here's my arrow. Oh God, guys. Yes. Oh, I was so worried about the shot. And that is not guts, guys. That is low to mid liver. And if I cut the diaphragm, that's as good as a lung hit. But you guys can see, look at that. That is coated in blood and he's he started squirting blood right away. So sometimes with those liver hits, if you can catch the diaphragm, which I was really close, we'll, we'll find out more, you know, once we start tracking a little bit, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give him plenty of time and uh, get back to the truck and, and uh, give him some time, but didn't gut shoot him, definitely got liver. So obviously I was really concerned with the shot, but after seeing all that blood, I was really confident that one, I got the liver, but two, I'm pretty sure I cut the diaphragm and maybe even clipped lung because I was seeing bubbles in the blood. And so I decided I was gonna track him for at least 100 yards and just see what I find. And after 100, if he went further, I was gonna back out and come back in the morning. a beast what a stun thank you old dozer well i ran out of light self filming but i gotta get him loaded up i mean this deer's one of the biggest body deer i've ever killed but check this out he's got so many points there's one two three four and five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that may be a point 13 he's got another one back there 14 15 16 17 18 jeez maybe even 19 it's hard to tell what those would score but maybe even 20 freaking points wow oh guys we got him out this morning and uh last night obviously self-filming it is so hard to really showcase just how beautiful of a buck he really is. Dozer is by far the biggest body deer I've ever shot. You know, I weighed him when we got home with guts in him, and he weighed 291 pounds. He is a beast of a deer. I mean, this is like a heifer with antlers. So pretty incredible. And we did put a tape on him last night, and he is over 200 inches. I'll have my buddy come and help me. He's an official scorer, but uh, he's unbelievable. Just a giant buck. You know, you get a lot of these extras like this and they just add up. And 20, oh, 26 inch main beam, you know, almost a 12 inch tine, 11 inch tine, 10 inch G2s. 
just an absolute beast of a buck. And to sit here and think I just killed my fourth 200 inch deer, I don't even know what to say guys. All I can say is I'm beyond grateful, I'm very blessed and fortunate to be able to do what I do. And I'm extremely grateful for every one of you guys watching our videos, you know, liking and subscribing to our channels. Man, I appreciate you guys a lot showing your support. And Old Dozer is a beast. As you guys could see, that's why we called him Dozer. 290 pound whitetail, 200 inches of horn. Man, what a deer.